my name, Elos. Hip Hop Savior, one third of Triborough, representing that new New York. from well i'm from the birthplace of hip-hop man the bx the bronx nyc let's get on with the show i'm gonna fuck your heads up with this shit polly with a rapper she won polly with a rapper that ain't what i meant nope not at all but look i'm just here to do my thing Ah, man, when I first started rapping, officially, nine years old, um, I wrote one of my first battle raps, um, me and a couple of cats um, in elementary school. And, um, you know, I always had a passion for hip-hop. I was a fan of it. And, um, you know, so we used to meet up at the lunchroom, you know, lunchroom table. You know, we in fourth grade. And uh, I wrote a battle rap to one of my peoples. And, you know, one of the terms back then was Jiggy. And I said something about his Jiggy shirt, something. And he wanted to fight me. And after that, that's when I knew, like, Damn, so my words really can impact people and, you know, maybe this is something that I could pursue. I didn't pursue it right then, though. It was still a hobby at that point. But I would say nine. Get the ball popping. It's your boy. On the right of our, goons on the left of our, pass it off, have bugs spray like insecticide. Hand over Bible boy and testify. If your ass get too live, then expect to die. All black, I'm in fashion. Jackie Chan, I'm on all the actions. You thinking it's a game, this what I call a practice. You thinking it's a game, this what I bring it back with. And that's it a little lower. That's right, I'm back up in the hood again. Ghost right out of that real nigga pull the shit. Small in the circle, real nigga fuck with him. About the name here, I put the name here. I represent that boogie down. Boogie down. Yeah, champion. Yeah, my holy crown. I'm spitting them jewels that's usually hard to found. Like Venus, take a look around. What separates an MC from a rapper? Hmm. Well, it's definitely a distinction, first and foremost. I do feel that there is a distinction. Um, you know, let's talk about the MC. The MC represents hip-hop, hip-hop as a culture, you know, uh, what hip-hop stands for. You know, an MC, you know, he doesn't necessarily do it for the money. And I think the rapper does. If if that that's probably it in a nutshell. Um, the driving motivation for MC is the passion for the culture, and the driving force for a rapper is that dollar. You know, and um, you know, there's no discredit talent wise. I'm not saying talent. I'm just saying why they do it. So you know, I'm an MC. I love it first and foremost. If I don't get a dollar from it. You know, I always give my all. It's been therapy for me. 
through most of my life, you know. I probably would be in a psych ward or, you know, probably in jail if it wasn't for hip hop. So it definitely saved my life and continues to be a, a way out when it's like too tough. You know? the clock, hit a tick, stop. This is hot. This is hip hop. My check one, two, you don't stop. You don't stop. I feel with MCs, not one, you don't rock. Not the underground, the balloons only rise into the top. Okay, time to go in. It flows from the mind, need no pen. I shine, fluorescent. They say over time, they'll notice. So in cons and they go over minds, no rehearsing. Referring to the verses and the listener who heard it. They'll pick up every word. To know how I word it, absurd, but I observe and keep motion. Playing low key while other guys keep boasting. Seeing when I get there, for now they out of focus. I got tunnel vision, but now I'm in the skew. My scope is, I see it all as long as the speaker's on. I'ma keep speaking on the grind and peep the catalog. The music is a part of me, so my heart beats the instrumental and lyrics are the artery. When I look in the mirror, see clearly what an artist be. It's your boy. I definitely feel hip hop has a spiritual aspect. You know, it's like a feeling like no other. Whether I listen to listen to hip hop, whether I'm creating it, whether I'm mixing down a record, it's just hip hop. You know, it always drew drew to me. You know, I didn't start listening to hip hop till about six, but um, it always drew to me since I've heard it. You know, it made me feel angry. It made me feel hype. It made me feel like, damn, I need to pick up a book. It made me feel like, yeah, I don't want to do shit today. It just, you know, it inspired all kind of emotions. Like, no other genre really spoken to me as hip-hop has. And, um, you know, it's a religion. Anything that you do repeatedly, that's the definition of religion. And hip-hop has been my religion, you know? Word. How do I come up with lyrics when I'm writing a record? comes in many different forms. Uh, mainly, it's the production. The beat determines it. You know, um, what direction I'm going to go, what topic. Um, it's been times where I came up with the lyrics prior to even having a beat. But um, for the most part, the, bit, the, ly the beat is determined by... The, the lyrics is determined by the beat. You know, um, you know, I'm a musical person. I have to feel it. And that's how it flows, you know. So it's not really a, a process of, you know, brainstorming, because it really comes from the beat. The beat determines what I talk about. Well, my definition of hip hop is life. You know, that's my personal definition because it's my life. You know, from the artists that that I grew up on. You know, from like the Tupacs, the Biggies. You know, the Coogee Rap, the Rakims, the Tribe Called Quest, the Wu-Tang, the Onyx. It was different stories that they told that I may have been going through something or maybe not. Maybe my mans was going through something or, you know, and they spoke to me. You feel what I'm saying? And it was like outlets and, you know, it was entertainment, but it was also education. You know, it, it raised me. You know what I mean? I, you know... My pops in and out of my life and all that. Hip-hop, what raised me, you feel what I'm saying? 
Big shout out to Mom Deuce. That's she held it down too. But hip hop definitely, you know, on the masculinity tip, you know, it definitely raised me. Um, my definition would be life, but honestly, it's whatever it defines to you. But that's my definition. It's life. It's my life. You know. Well, the life of an independent artist. <laughs> I put it like this. I made a song about it. It's called Starving Artist. It was on my Volume 3 mixtape. Please dry your eyes. Don't keep it inside. No need to strive. You gonna cry regardless. This is the life of a starving artist. Fuck 9 to 5. Stay on your grind. No need to whine. You gonna shine regardless. You know what I mean? Um... It's a grind, you know what I mean? That's basically, you know, in a nutshell, it's a grind. But, you know, I won't say that's just indie artists. That's life, period. Anything worth attaining is a struggle. You know, nothing comes easy in this world um, if you want it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, if it's something that's in your heart, you know, you have to struggle for it to attain, attain it. It's just not given, you know. So I'm not going to say indie hip-hop is that way, but... It's harder, you feel what I'm saying? The radio's against us, mainstream media is against us. And why? Because it's money. You know, it's a catch-22. It's like it takes money to make money. So as an indie artist, you know, you're not, you're competing with major corporations. That's what people don't view, people don't understand. It's major corporations, big business that you up against as an indie artist. So when you sell that 1,000 CDs, you know, and say, like, you know, who's popping? Like, a Rick Ross sells a million copies. Your thousand looks like chump change. But for you, it's a personal success, you know? That thousand fans, you got a thousand fans who know your music, who buy your music. You feel what I'm saying? You got 200 people at your shows. That 200, Rick Ross got 50,000 people at his shows. So you could do the dollar exchange, you know? He's definitely more successful in that sense, so... He's able to get the radio spots. He's able to get the TV spots. So as an indie artist, it's a constant struggle because you don't have the luxuries of having major platforms. You have to be on your hustle and bustle to compete. But if you work out, if you're in shape, you know, and I don't mean physically, I mean emotionally, you know what I mean, artistically, you could do it, you know what I mean? And most importantly, professionally. Because a lot of indie artists don't know the business side and that's why they be disgruntled. But it's our fault, you know what I mean? You got to pick up that book. You got to learn. It's 2012. That's my saying now. It's 2012, man. You know what I mean? So if you don't know the answer, Google it. You know what I'm saying? YouTube. Do your research. Simple as that. Look up in the sky, your birds are playing. Eyes focus, words are saying. Rob flew over the nest and straight cuckoo. Rappers, you live the best of me, too. Spit as hard as you want, you're not me. I'm still stuck in the box, they hot seats. Destination greatness, things in top three. I'm known to keep it blunt, me, I cops weed. Please don't get it twisted like you cannot see. Confused but not see. Oh, Jews are hot. Without my show, I'm looking for you and me. In this beat, you produce hands and moving sick. Record the HD so you can see clear. My life's a movie and not stop world from there. Months of preview with no sequel and it's coming soon to a day to day. Yeah, red light, green light, one, two, three. Won't you come and fuck with me? My name is hey, Elusive hey, In case I didn't hey, introduce it up Red light, green light, one, two, three, three. Watch you come and fuck with me Who that, who that, who that My name is Elusive hey, I'm hey, in the game and I know it's our soul Come on Hype, receive all from huddle Go after my goal, they all in trouble You see me, see I'm calm and mellow We grits me, get high from the hello Get okay. high from the elbow I'm hiding the Elroy Jetson fellow do follow, the crew shallow, my crew deep, it's one third of coming ahead, two feet, I don't like all P wallows, not two feet, okay. shit, it's not two feet, I know they asking me some, yo, who's he, who's he, in this book, they will have my good read, good read, and even while I'm spitting this, they deliberate, only a chosen few, my Jews that get to them, the rest knock it off, consider them holocaust, the major lose, lose, signing off, signing off.